tonight for dinner, we are having beef stroganoff. Yay. So to get started, um, I'm putting flour into this re reusable gallon size bag. Um, I'm going to season the flour coming up here. And this is what I'm going to put my chunks of beef in to um, get them ready to fry. Okay, and then I prefer to use the better than bouillon than um, stock in a box. So I have here just not even a full teaspoon of the beef bouillon and I'm putting in, I'm dissolving it in some hot water. And this will be used later to make the sauce. This is the start of the show here. We have um, a little over a pound and a half of beef sirloin. And here I am trimming it up. I like to take off just like the really big chunks of fat on here. Okay, and then also you see this here, this is the silver skin. It's like really chewy and you wanna remove that. And I also like to pound it out just a little bit to tenderize it just a little bit. Okay, and then you want to cut it down to um, bite-sized pieces. Okay, I wanted to also season the beef before I put it in the flour, just because you wanna, you wanna season every layer of this so that um, you have a good balance of seasoning all through the dish. And then I'll throw it all into the flour, mix it up really well by the way, and then I'll throw it all into the flour here and um, shake it up really good so that all the beef is coated in the flour. That'll give you a really nice crust at the end. And also it'll help thicken the sauce too. And then I'll just set it aside and next I'm going to get started on prepping the veggies. Okay, moving on to the mushrooms. I just have one small container of mushrooms here. Um, I'm just feeding a family of four, by the way. Um, and you'll also want to take a very, very, very lightly damp paper towel and just rub off the dirty parts on the mushrooms. Because, you know, they don't come clean because they would absorb too much moisture and then they would be spongy. So um, here I am just cutting them up. Okay, and then moving on to the onion and garlic. I'm just using a little bit of onion. I have a 10 year old son, doesn't really care for onion. So I'm just using a little bit. And then um, I'm cutting up quite a bit of garlic coming up here because I'm also gonna be serving green beans um, to go along with this. So I'm gonna be using garlic in both the stroganoff and the green beans. So 
I did, you know, four or five cloves here. Okay, and then getting some butter in the pan and you wanna put a little like sleeve on the handle of your cast iron skillet because it gets hot. Okay, moving on to the beef. This is the first step in cooking the dish. Um, I'm taking the beef and putting it into this hot skillet here so we can start quickly searing off the meat. And I, you don't wanna overcrowd your pan because you do not want to steam your, your meat, okay? You want it to um, be able to just fry and not steam because then it'll get chewy and gross, okay? So here we are. Steam, steam. Notice there's not very much steam coming off the meat here. That's what you want. Okay, I should also add in here, I'm frying in batches because as I said, I don't want to overcrowd my pan. And then after this is done, I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit, a little bit on my pan and put all this meat on a plate and set it aside until we're ready to add it back in. And as you're gonna notice here, there is a lot of butter in this dish, okay? We're not, uh, it's just a comfort kind of meal and there's a lot of butter in it. So that's why it's so good though. Okay, and I also like to add in a little bit of white wine to this dish. You could use red also, but I just always have Pinot Grigio on hand. So I'm cracking it open here, and this is a ver very important step coming up. You really need to pour yourself just a little bit to make sure that it is not poisoned and it is safe for your family to have in their dish, okay? Very important. Alrighty, now it's time to throw in the onions and the garlic in with the mushrooms. Hello, mirror. Um, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> okay, garlic goes in. All right. And by the way, we do not measure garlic in this house. We use as much as we desire because we love garlic. Okay, while the veggies are cooking away, it's time to throw in the noodles. So we always like to salt our water before we put in the noodles. And we have some no yolks here, some egg noodles. And you know, just cook them until they're the right doneness for you. All right, adding some more butter in here because we're going to start building the gravy here. All right, what are we going to do next? Okay. Okay, and then this flour here, I'm just reusing the flour that I use to um, put my meat, that I shook my meat in here. I mean, you might as well. It's already there and it's already got the seasoning in it. So don't get out new flour, just use what you already got in there. And then um, you need a little bit of tomato paste. So this is just the very end of a tube I had in the fridge. I love this tomato paste, by the way. Like, I don't buy it out of the can anymore. I just always have this and it's perfect. Okay, okay. And then um, 
I am deglazing the pan here with some uh, some of that white wine and that'll just help get all the bits off the bottom of the pan and I'm letting this reduce down a little bit before I add in the broth right here coming up very good okay yeah you just add it in that's about two cups of broth by the way and you just let it get in there and start thickening up and reducing down a little bit. Okay, this recipe that I'm using, it's like a 20 year old recipe out of a cookbook I have in my cupboard. So I'll be sure to list the instructions in the, in the description box. Okay, and then while it's simmering away here, we're going to add in just a couple spoonfuls of sour cream and then I'll just kind of make it rich and add just a little bit of tang to it too, which is really good. I love sour cream. Okay, and now it is time to start on the green beans. So I'm adding in just a little bit of bacon fat here. I mean, bacon's really good with um, green beans, right? And also I'm gonna add in a little bit of uh, butter and I'm gonna put in a little bit of garlic that we cut, or that we minced up earlier, not cut, come on. It sounds so, anyway. Uh, so I'll just add in the, the beans, put a lid on the pan and just let them kind of cook away for a little bit while we're finishing up here. Alrighty, so um, you'll want to taste it for seasoning also, um, and then before you serve it. And then I'm also adding in some um, dry parsley, and voila, we are done here. Look at this, nice, hot, and steamy. Um, so yeah, loved it, loved it. Um, this is one of our winter meals also, and uh, we just really enjoy this dish. And so we always look forward to it. You can also serve it with rice if you prefer, but we like the egg noodles instead. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribed. Help me to grow my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye!